Ever thought about why some rappers have a tough time making it big? Nowadays on social media, rappers try hard to look cool. They post fancy pictures and start fights to get noticed. But behind all the glitz, there's often a hidden story of struggle. And Lil Xan is one of them. He was once a famous rapper, breaking records left and right. But suddenly he disappeared. What's the story behind it? Where is he now? Why did he ruin his career? In this video, we'll delve into why his journey fits into this troublesome group. So get ready to uncover the twists and turns that have shaped his path in the music industry. Lil Zahn, also known as Nicholas Diego Llanos, is an American rapper, songwriter, and singer. Born on September 6, 1996, Lil Zahn didn't have an easy start. His family struggled financially, and they had to live in motels for most of his childhood. The school wasn't easy either. He attended Redlands East Valley High School, but ended up dropping out during his first year. After leaving school, he spent several years at home without a job. Life wasn't exactly smooth sailing for him. But then, something changed. Lil Zan decided to take charge and make a change. He started working odd jobs, including a stint as a street cleaner. He even dabbled in selling drugs, but that wasn't his path. Eventually, he found his true calling, music. Initially, Lil Zen supported his friends who were rappers by pursuing a photography career, but fate had other plans. His camera got stolen, and instead of replacing it, he decided to try his hand at rapping himself. And that's when Lil Zen was born. When he first stepped into the music scene, he drew inspiration from a variety of artists. He looked up to Pharrell Williams and a bunch of others like Queens of the Stone Age, Cage the Elephant, and Arctic Monkeys. He even admired big names like Drake and Mac Miller, who influenced his rap style. As reported by Pigeons and Planes, Lil Zen's music initially had that classic trap vibe, but then evolved into something more dreamy and ethereal. Some even called it part of a sad rap movement, uniquely capturing emotions. Now, let's talk about his name, Lil Zen. It's quite interesting how he got it. It's actually inspired by Xanax, a prescription drug used for anxiety. This gives us a glimpse into his personality and the struggles he might have faced. Despite the challenges, Lil Zen's talent couldn't be hidden. He started gaining attention through platforms like SoundCloud and YouTube. His music resonated with people, slowly but surely earning him fame and recognition. It all started with his music video for the song Betrayed in August 2017. This song made waves, reaching the 64th spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. It was like the beginning of something big for Lil Zen. After his taste of success, he made a big announcement in an interview, his debut album, Total Xanarchy. I got you. So yeah, talk about the album coming out. <laughs> I, just see my, I just see my manager over there like <laughs> laughing at me. Yo, the album, um, yeah, uh, we actually had to push it back to April 6th. Oh, you had to push it back? Okay, yeah. so April 6th is the date. April 6th, you're hearing it here first, actually. Most of, my oh. fans, most of my fans think it's still coming out March 17th. Are you serious? What's wrong with you? Whoever's honking. What an asshole. What an asshole. Yeah, April Yeah. 6th. This album was packed with collaborations with stars like Diplo and Sway Lee. Exciting, right? To celebrate the album's release, Lil Zen went on the Total Xanarchy Tour in December 2017. And guess what? Tickets sold out within five hours. That's how much people loved his music. Then came April 2018, and Total Xanarchy hit the shelves. Critics had mixed feelings, but it still did well commercially. It even debuted at number 10 on the Billboard 200 chart and sold 28,000 copies in its first week. But Lil Zen didn't stop there. He kept the momentum going with his mixtape, Heartbreak Soldiers, dropping in July 2018. And that's not all. He announced a tribute album for Mac Miller called Be Safe in September 2018. It was a touching gesture to honor his late friend. In 2018, Leonos, also known as Lil Zen, toyed with the idea of changing his stage name to Diego. This decision stemmed from his desire to promote an anti-drug message through his music. However, despite considering it deeply, he hasn't fully committed to making the change. Instead, he remains uncertain about officially adopting the pseudonym Diego. However, things took a turn when Lil Zen started making contradictory statements about his second album. 
it seemed like he was unsure about its direction. Originally, he had plans to release a tribute album called Be Safe in 2019. But unfortunately, it got stuck in production limbo and eventually got scrapped. Then, in November 2019, he got fans excited by announcing his next album titled When September Ends. He even revealed an album cover, but boom, the album never saw the light of day. But Lil Zen didn't give up. In January 2020, he came back with another announcement, this time for an album titled Sorry I Didn't Quit. He even dropped a creative album cover inspired by Lil Wayne's Sorry For The Wait. However, this project also faced setbacks and was scrapped. Finally, the wait was over on June 24, 2022, when Lil Zen released his EP titled Have A Nice Day. This marked his return to the music scene after more than three years. And guess what? It was a collaboration with another talented SoundCloud rapper, Chris Miles. This special project featured a collaboration with Lil Tracy and was highlighted by a single called Miss Me. It's clear that Lil Zen has tasted fame and it seemed like it was just the beginning of something even bigger. But where did it all go wrong? Despite the bumps in the road, Lil Zen's journey in the music industry continues to intrigue and captivate fans. Who knows what surprises he has in store for us next? As mentioned earlier, Lil Zen's stage name was inspired by Xanax, a medication used for anxiety. But there's more to the story. Xanax isn't just any medication. It's a highly addictive substance often misused by younger individuals, especially in the hip-hop scene. Unfortunately, Lil Zen fell into the trap of addiction, like many others. This sheds light on a darker side of fame. While on the surface, everything may seem fine. Behind the scenes, struggles like addiction can take their toll. It's a reminder that fame isn't always glitter and gold, and these things are later confirmed by himself. So we talk about this later in the video. Let's take a closer look at the lyrics of Lil Zen's breakout hit single, Betrayed. In the chorus, he sings, Zans don't make you, Zans gon take you, Zans gon FF you, and Zans gon betray you. It's pretty clear now that he was referring to Xanax, a drug he was once deeply addicted to. You see, Lil Zen's struggle with Xanax wasn't just a coincidence. It almost seemed like he named himself after it. The truth is, his addiction was taking a toll on his life, almost ruining it completely. He's been open about it, admitting, I was painfully addicted to Xanax for like two years of my life. It wasn't easy, but he managed to break free from its grip. He's come a long way since then. Loaded, and now it's this big epidemic, and, and now every person getting treated in rehab, it's like, oh, fentanyl, it's an easy question, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, why are they in here, fentanyl? I, I, I saw something too, um, that I don't know if it was seven years ago, but they were, they were mentioning certain drugs and fentanyl didn't come up either. And I was like, that's crazy. It is like a fairly new big thing, I guess. But Lil Xan isn't the only one who's faced the battle of addiction. Several other celebrities have fallen into the same trap, dealing with the consequences along the way. In 2018, a Chicago rapper named Lucky almost lost his life due to his addiction to Xanax. Shortly after, another Chicago artist, Fredo Santana, had to be hospitalized because of drug-related issues with his liver and kidneys. Unlike some rappers who glamorize drug use in their music, Lil Xan took a different approach. He actively fought against his addiction. Reflecting on his journey, he shared, I definitely learned the lesson after ending up in the hospital from withdrawing. I can't live this life. It's refreshing to see an artist speak out against drug use, isn't it? The tragic death of Lil Peep from an accidental overdose served as a wake-up call for many in the industry. Rappers like Lil Pump, Smoke Perp, and Lil Uzi Vert publicly vowed to stay away from drugs like Xanax and Lean. Lil Zen, who admired Lil Peep, also took note of the dangers of addiction. It's heartening to see artists using their platform to spread awareness about the risks of drug abuse. He's been vocal about his struggles and is dedicated to spreading awareness about the dangers of drugs, especially Xanax. Despite his efforts in early 2022, it was revealed that Lil Zen was still struggling. He took proactive steps by spending time in detox and rehab facilities. 
He claimed to be feeling better than ever and was determined to stay sober. Um, like, it's, it's just, I like, I tell people this, I wish I could be this person back then. Mm. And, you know, I wish I could, if, if I was this person back then, guaranteed none of that crazy stuff would have happened. Things would have been handled in a more mature and a proper manner. Uh, you know, but we can't change the past, obviously. However, there's been controversy surrounding Lil Zen's approach to staying sober. He revealed that his rehab facility allowed patients to smoke weed, which he claimed helped him. This approach, sometimes referred to as California sober, isn't without its critics. In March 2022, Lil Zen shared on social media that he was hospitalized due to mental health concerns stemming from online bullying. He bravely spoke out against his former manager, accusing them of enabling his addiction. Um, at, at things that they had done in the past. And I really wish I could have reworded that. Just redid everything, you know. I, that was a terrible way to do it. Um, but I was all, you know, mentally not stable. So not blaming that, but uh, it was just a really another bad time. Uh, how I feel now about Stat and, and all that, I have nothing against him. The reactions to Lil Zen's confessions have been different. Some people backed him up, while others doubted him, asking why he spoke up and if he's telling the truth. Even though it's hard, Lil Zen keeps battling his addiction, but what lies ahead for him is still unclear. Drug addiction can really mess up someone's life, just like it did for Lil Zen. It's a big problem that has ruined many careers. Lil Zen's story shows how dangerous it can be. We're not sure what comes next for his career, but it seems like he's eager to turn things around. What do you think will happen to Lil Zen next? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video.